Hey guys, we are two others and welcome back to uh, our first discussion video about stuff which is going on in the world of gaming. Video games. In video games. Yes. I'm joined by my co-partner and lover, Rem. Hello, this is me, Rem, from two others. <laughs> you were going to say something <laughs> else there, weren't you? Yeah, a certain YouTube channel, but that we don't talk about. Okay, but we're here to talk about the Golden Joystick Awards and... Game of the Year, which is coming up whenever. When does Game of the Year come out? Like the. I awards? think actually after 2018. Oh, is it actually? After? I think the main focus will be uh, the Golden Joystick for now. Yeah. Because some peculiar things happen. Yeah, some, some peculiar things which have yeah. triggered me to. Especially, especially oh, Liam. Oh, yeah. God. God. He's okay. Been really so first this. of all, like the awards which were given out were like. Uh, like various awards, like the little ones, like, and I'm really glad that Brian that Brian Deckard from uh, Detroit Become Human got one because everyone loves him, including yeah, me. Yeah, the, the thing is, I've never played Detroit Become Human, and I don't really um, have any interest in playing it. But I would think like, um, wouldn't they better choose like a streamer that's like fully dedicated to streaming? Uh, yeah, I see, I see the point, but. Um, I mean, because last time, like last year, Markiplier was yeah. uh, um, appointed, and not nothing against him, but like uh, he's not mainly a streamer; he's a let's player. And, that's true. That's uh, true. The guy from Detroit Become Human, he's he's an actor first and foremost, right? Um, I I'm, I think he actually started doing uh, Twitch before. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I, I, I'm not, I I'm not very know. well versed in that. I, I I'm I'm not quite sure about his backstory, about his. I don't know, back we should lore. do our research then, huh? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Maybe another time. Um, Maybe another time. But other games. Now, I'm just going to jump straight into it. Fortnite being Golden Globe... Not Golden Globe. Golden Joystick um, Game of the Year. Uh, I don't agree with <laughs> yeah. At all. At all. It's a bit of a weird thing, isn't it? It's a weird thing because you've got the, the likes Fortnite of Red Dead situation. Redemption, Spider-Man, Assassin's Creed, Detroit. You've got all these massive story oriented games which have soul which have heart which have all this stuff poured into it mm -hmm. and it's beaten by <laughs> dab by, <laughs> by like dab by, by meme it's beaten by meme simulator so you have like all these cool games and like 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 an airplane comes over and drops like Fortnite people from the sky you know <laughs> and they just they just take it all over it's so just like dabbing and dancing. <laughs> and then you've got like Red Dead Redemption. That's how I imagine you know? this golden joystick. But like, <laughs> I, I also didn't mention God of War. God, how could I? Um, yeah, God of War is great. <clears throat> now, uh, a game which I am um, sort of surprised, which, well, actually not surprised that it wasn't in there, was Spider Man. Now, I'm not saying Spider Man it is. It probably came out too late. Yeah, I'm not saying that Spider Man is bad. In any, well, actually, no, because Red Dead Redemption only came out like last month. Okay, that's true. Maybe Spider Man just sucks. Um, that was that was. <laughs> shut up! Don't you dare say that! <laughs> Don't you dare! <laughs> Spider Man is a very fucking good game. It's an amazing game, but compared to the big, the other big titles which were released, I can see why it it didn't get. It was the, just a great year, I suppose. Yeah, it, it was. It was just. It was just unlucky. If if Spider Man came out last year, it would have won some awards, like hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, I'm surprised to see Monster Hunter World up there. So it's a good game, uh, yeah, cooperatively yeah. wise, I, I suppose. Because you've got all um, these big games that came out, for like Forza, Forza, <laughs> Far Cry. I, <laughs> yeah, for, uh, yeah Far Forza. Some people play it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, a lot some of people, people have to play something on the Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Yeah, it's they the only have thing have they something. have. <laughs> oh, it's so and Sea of Thieves. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, because like you got Assassin's Creed, Far Cry Five, uh, Red Dead Redemption, God of War. It was just unlucky for Spider Man to come out this year, honestly, because you know c compared to all these other big games, and even Shadow of the Tomb Raider, I've heard is real good, but I didn't, I didn't play that one. I, I didn't play that one either. I, I played the first uh, new Tomb Raider. Yeah. It was pretty nice. It would have been great to see Spider-Man get some awards, though, because Spider-Man was such an awesome game. Like, the story behind it, the voice acting, everything around it was awesome. However, I can mm -hmm. see why it fell short and didn't get awards, because yeah. it, was, it was up against I the likes. I honestly feel like, um, 
Like, even Red Dead Redemption wasn't that perfect. No, no game is perfect. But, but Fortnite... It certainly wasn't perfect. <laughs> but Fortnite... I mean, it gets the Critics' Choice Award. Like, everyone yeah. loves it. Yeah, yeah, but, everyone loves it. But it should. It, um, it still should have won it. Still should best won visual it. design, I still think, yeah, God of War does deserve it more. Yeah, yeah, God of War, um, yeah. Um, best that. storytelling? Um... Oh, for me, it's got to be so Red far, Dead. So yeah, far, you've completed it 100% Red Dead Redemption. Me, for me, it's got to be Red Dead or Spider-Man for special. I, I've played both. I've played both although, God of God, War although, although, <laughs> and Red Dead. Although, God of, although yeah. I say that, I haven't actually played God of War. Yeah, I, I've played both. And as great as Red Dead Redemption 2's story is, I think the more simple father-son relationship between uh, uh, Kratos and his son... Who I just forgot this name of. <laughs> <laughs> I already knew. It's okay. Boy. 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 That, that's his name. I, I just boy. think of Reverend as Boy. His yeah. name is Boy. Yeah, I actually think that's I think that's a bit more special. And yeah. I think that's why I just got that higher place. But Red Dead Redemption 2 should be right behind that. Yeah, yeah. It's um, just such an unfortunate thing because... Yeah, moving th- on think, though. So, yeah. uh, what do you think is going to be the game of the year? Because don't forget, we have Smash coming out. Mm. We have Smash coming out next well, month. I, I, I just kind of want that to be the game of I the year. I don't think it will be. It won't be, but no. it will be my game of the year. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Although my switch is kind of broken at the moment, and I really yeah, want you got to send it. Did you? I know. You didn't even call him. I know. I did see. I did see. You got to be there in time to smash with me. Yeah, <laughs> and not play the game, just actual smash. Yes. Um, uh, but what? But pe- speaking of VR games, right? Because they also uh, appointed VR games. Oh yeah, so Skyrim VR got. On um, yeah, Skyrim VR. Like you play VR games. I don't have an Oculus Rift because I'm too poor. Um, but it's. it's yeah. Spider Man, um, not Spider Man. Skyrim VR, like it's 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 good. I, I I didn't put much time into it, partly because like if you put too much time into it, you get like motion sick. But also, mm. um, like I don't know, I've, I've played Skyrim too much. <laughs> I've played Skyrim way too much. I can see why. But now it's in VR. Yeah, I know. Um, but are there any better VR games that you think? Well, actually, that's a better VR game. This year, mm, I've, uh, to be honest, I haven't you've been really, delving into. You got it this year, didn't I, you? I haven't really put like huge amounts of time into VR games. Like I have a VR, and I just have a lot of like gimmicky games on there. Yeah, I, th- I think I think it's more of an experimental thing. Yeah, now, yeah. isn't it? Until like it, something fully fledged comes out, like an actual like fully like awesome, dedicated, like, f- serious VR game. Like yeah, yeah, you know, like developed by a big. You know, uh, a, a, a a big industry like let's say like Bethesda or something like original game, an original game, so a company that has the balls to yeah, do to, it. Because to, to, yeah. now it's not. I don't think it's that very very much profitable to do a big, triple a full fledged game on the VR system. No, it's not at the moment because VR is still sort of new. And would be very ballsy if they yeah. do it. I, I'd like to see them do it though. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, other games we have Assassin's Creed, which I haven't played, but I've heard it's real good. Again, I've heard that one's real good. Assassin's Creed uh, uh, Odyssey, it is. Yeah, now. yeah, the new one. It, Not to confuse it with Super Mario Odyssey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what like confusing Mario where you have to assassinate people? Yeah, <laughs> you know, Mario assassin. Assassin's Creed Mario. Mario's Creed. <laughs> Mario's Creed. Him, Luigi, <laughs> Toad. Uh, yeah. Who else? Yeah. Who else would be that? <laughs> Peach. <laughs> Peach would be the, uh, uh, the, the... Oh, speaking of Nintendo Game of the Year. Mm-hmm. Uh, o- apparently Octopath Traveler got the Game of the Year. What is that? Have you... Oh, it's, it's some kind of, like, Final Fantasy-like game. It's from Square Enix. All right. Just, just Google it if you don't know what it is. Just Google it right now. Right now. Right here. Um, so what's it called? Octopath Traveler. Octopath Come on, Liam. Path Traveler. Gotta know what that is. Uh, Octopath Traveler. What is this? Yeah, um, it looks pretty cool, right? But I don't know what it is. I heard it was kind of not that super great. 
But what? The, and the visuals look cool. It looks like Minecraft. <laughs> it reminds me of Minecraft visuals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the pixely stuff, right? And because it's like, it's weird 3D. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the box is like the, the wall and that. Like, I'm looking at this picture of a wall. And mm. it looks like Minecraft, but that's fine. Like I, I don't. I, that's fine. It looks it's still. It's I mean, cool. what other games came out in 2018 for the Nintendo? Like proper Nintendo games. Uh, I don't Splatoon? remember that much. Was Splatoon? <laughs> did, was it Splatoon come out? The Splatoon Two came out last year. Oh, okay. Because I, I uh, actually is not. I, I don't. I haven't seen that that many big mainline Nintendo games come out yet until, of course, uh, Smash Bros and Pokemon and Super Mario Party. This year has been kind of. Quiet, more third-party releases, I think. Uh, yeah. For Nintendo Switch. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So excited for Smash though. That's gonna be my oh, game. That's, that's the... gonna be like the best. That's gonna be the most awesome. Yeah. Most epic. I love it. Um, I love it. Yeah. Everyone yeah. will. Everyone will. I'm Everyone's also looking so forward. For I'm more so looking forward to 2019 as well with uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh, okay. Just interested how that plays because uh, you know I. I I haven't really played that much Kingdom Hearts. Mm. Until um, before we before we probably wrap this up, how long have we been recording for? Eleven minutes. That's fine. Uh, before we like sort of wrap this up, who are you going to be playing in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. You're going to be playing. Ooh, that's a good. That's a good question. I probably uh, play Bayonetta because I yeah haven't gotten to play her in the Wii U version yet because I don't have a Wii U. And I kind of skipped out thing, on the Wii. You had a thing of, with Lucario, didn't you? you, you uh, yeah, last time we played in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, I suddenly started playing Lucario a lot and kind of felt like a furry. But well, I mean, um, I played Fox, so okay, okay, that's I think that's even worse. But I play Fox. Lucario and Meta, kind though. of has an online reputation. Um, when you're on Snake's map as Fox, like when you use, and you use your Smash, your Super Smash, yeah, <laughs> everyone's dead. You just land on the on a tank, and there's just a massive bottleneck, and everyone's dead. And the fun thing is, that map's gonna return on the ultimate. Oh god, it's there gonna were, be everything like yeah. Brawl, but better. Because yeah. I, I, I don't know, I just skipped out on Smash Bros. Wii yeah. U and 3DS. What, I what? even had a 3DS, but I just didn't feel like buying Smash because oh, I thought, yeah. this is a console game. I'm not gonna play it online. And honestly, like. Brawl was better. I'm, I'm saying it. I love Brawl. Brawl was great. I love Brawl too. Underrated. Uh, just, it it felt so like the Wii U and 3DS version kind of missed out on the single player story, which there was none of. Yeah. Um, I do feel like in, in those type of games that you do kind of need a single player storyline or something. Because like, it was just awesome. Just yeah. It was so great in Brawl. The no, it was awesome. It was awesome. And they're coming Add, out with another a new story layer too. to it. But, but yeah, now you have the world of light. So That's going to be awesome. That's gonna, it's, be awesome. it's gonna be great. Everyone dies except Kirby, apparently. But <laughs> <laughs> everyone dies. Listen, Thanos. Yeah, Thanos. He, he Thanos did this. He, he, he did it. Thingy. Okay, uh, I think we'll wrap it up there. That's a good sort of, uh, fifteen minutes there. Um, what is your favorite game of the year? Uh, uh, my uh, game of the year. Yeah. Just to wrap it well, up. That's a tough question because Smash is gonna come out next year. For me, Red I mean, Dead Redemption. For me, Red Dead Redemption. Full stop. So mm, I have to man. say, I have to say, Red Dead Redemption, full stop. Mm. Runner up, either Detroit Become Human or um, uh, Spider Man. I think. That is it! This is the final straw! It's a tough one. That's fine. I'm thinking. That's fine. I'll let I'm you think on it. I'll I let think, you... I'm thinking it's thinking it has to be either Red Dead Redemption 2 or God of War. Yep, fair, Up fair. Until now, always. I keep forgetting God of War got released. <laughs> I just haven't played it. I just haven't played it, I'm sorry. You have it, but you haven't played yeah, it. Yeah, I know, I know. There's too many games. Anyway. Um, no, no, God of War, God of War. God of War? Yeah, Good yeah I think it's still the, yeah. the best one, yeah, sadly. That's fine. It wasn't that great of a year for video games. Well, it was, it was good. It was actually quite good. It was decent, it was but I, for my taste, decent. I didn't find that many I liked. Fair enough, um. fair enough. Anyway, uh, in the comments, let me know what your favourite uh, game was and what you think is going to be getting Game of the Year this year. Just don't say it's Fortnite. Just If you say it's Fortnite, I'll ban you. <laughs> That's my thing. I'll ban you. I'll ban everyone. Okay. Uh, with that in mind, I'll uh, see you guys next time for another discussion video. Goodbye.